In this video tutorial, we will go over how to create a 3D tool using the Machining Cloud in NC Simul Machine. Here when we open the Machining Cloud, I can begin by going to Search, by Product or Family, and here I'm going to be choosing an Iskar Turning Tool. I'm going to select Inch. When I select the tool, the Machining Cloud allows me to see all the different sizes that are available for this type of tool. Here I'm just going to select the first one. Here we can add an adaptive item or a tool item. This allows us to add to the assembly to continue to build this tool. Now I can add this to my job or add it to my machines, or I can just download the model as an assembly. Here I will say download the model, heavy 3D models, and current assembly. Here in NC Simul, if I open up the tool library, we can see that it is already constructed as shown on the 3D screen. Now inside of my simulation, I'm going to first activate the spindle, and I'm just going to first backplot through. Here we can see it facing the part and beginning the turning cycle. With NC Simul, using three-dimensional models for turning and milling can be very useful, especially for collision detection. The reason for this is because you see all the intricate details of the model. The strength and accuracy of your simulation depends greatly on the accuracy of the models for the tooling. Here we can see we have a collision. Thanks to our very intricate model, we can see that we obviously have an issue here where we're going to have a collision with one of the jaws of the chuck. This will give me a very good understanding of how much further I need to stick the blade out on this tool.